Guys, welcome back to Lawson's Car Reviews. My name's Tristan, and today I have for you a fully loaded 2015 Chevy Impala LTZ. I actually own a 2010 Chevy Impala LTZ, so this will be a good comparison. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, take it for a test drive, and see how you guys like it. What's good, you two? This hood is really light. Giddy up! If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted of any new uploads that I do and hit the like because it helps the channel to grow. On with the video. So starting off at the front of the car, it has a great presence with these lights and the big bow tie um, and it has a nice beefy front. The only thing I don't really like about the front is the gold bow tie. I'd much prefer if the car had a black bow tie, which is easy to change by yourself. But I love these lines on the hood. Gives the car a very nice, bulky, aggressive look. Um, this car is front wheel drive, but it still drives really nice. You do get some wheel spin at the front while you're driving it, but um, that's only if you're really trying to go balls to the wall fast in it. But overall, look at the presence of the car. It's got chrome and black, and that really gives it an awesome look. Um, I really love the look of these wheels. These are actually the same size wheels that come on my Camaro RS. So they're actually um, 245 on the width, a 40 inch sidewall and a 20 inch rim, but they're very nice. And they're the same size all the way around. I'm actually liking the Impala symbol down here too. And you do have turn signals in the wing mirrors. So that is a nice touch. And as you come to the back, you've got the same size uh, wheel for the rear. So it is a square stance. And then you've got this awesome Impala badge, which harkens back all the way to the 1960s. And then the back of the car has a nice trunk lid spoiler the V6 badge and the LTZ badge and then the car also has got these decorative trim rings around the exhaust so let's go ahead and pop the trunk and take a look in there now the trunk is the rock star of the car for sure this is an 18.8 cubic feet trunk so it's absolutely huge and you do get with the car these very nice uh, weather protective mats that they haven't put in the car yet from the dealer and you do get a spare trunk um, underneath too and then you also get this cargo net for all of your groceries so 18.8 cubic feet is one of the biggest trunks in the segment by far even my old Impala is 18.6 which is huge but this beats it out by 0.2 now in order to do the remote start, you can go ahead and press the lock button once and then go ahead and press and hold the remote start button. Then the car goes ahead and starts right up. Now there is a ton of room in the back of these Impalas. I mean, you have these beautiful leather seats with their brown piping in the leather. And if you go ahead and watch me get in the car, I'm six foot four or 193 centimeters. As you can see, I have got plenty of leg room. My knees are not touching the seat at all. And you do have this uh, AC vents here at the back. And you've also got a regular house plug at the back there too. And then you have these pretty deep cup holders and armrest and the seats do also fold down they do a 40 60 split so you can get even more cargo space in there if you need to both the passenger and the driver's seat have got electric uh, sliding seats which is a very nice feature 
will say the glove compartment is kind of tiny um, and it's much smaller than the one that's in my 2010 and everything in this car as far as features is excellent you get two memory seat functions on this vehicle the windows and the mirrors are all electric you get a Bose sound system and you actually get heated and cooled seats with three different functions you get extra storage in the middle here and then you do have Apple CarPlay Android Auto in these cars and I love the design how it just looks like it wraps around you the one thing I don't like is the shape of the steering wheel I feel like they could have changed that but it's not terrible it's kind of grown on me and then you've got the little wood grain as I said the Bose speakers and the stereo system sounds awesome and on this car you get this very nice moonroof too that goes all the way back and it's one touch to open the moonroof all the way and then one touch to actually put the shade over so it's very very nice very nice it's it's excellent so this particular car does have um an electronic parking brake also it has push button start so you hold your foot on the gas you go ahead and press the engine and it will turn everything on let me show you what it does when you do that turns the chevy my link on the dials do a cool little sweep car has electronic parking brake when you put the car into reverse the mirrors dip down on both sides so that you can see the curb when you're parking so you don't scuff those beautiful wheels and you get a full-size backup camera and with trajectory lines but it is kind of blurry so that's one thing and then on the inside here you get a giant um, storage compartment that has two USB ports down there too okay one more thing to mention is this car does have a secret compartment just like the Corvettes do if you press this button it actually raises the screen and you can put some secret stuff back there that no one's going to see and you also get an added USB port behind there now looking under the hood you do have a decent looking engine cover it's nothing to rave about but you do get 306 horsepower in this car I'll put the uh, the torque numbers and everything the 0 to 60 on the screen but the car actually gets good gas mileage it gets 19 in the city and 29 on the highway which is good for a car of this size with a powerful v6 engine um, so they've definitely come a long way when it comes to power numbers and mpgs with this vehicle nothing to complain about there all right guys we're setting out in this 2015 chevrolet impala ltz and my driving impressions so far are actually excellent um, this is the third impala newer impalas that i have reviewed so i reviewed the four cylinder base impala which was trash i hated it it doesn't have enough power for a car that's this heavy and then i reviewed another impala that was a v6 but it wasn't fully loaded and today this is the ltc ltz so this is the fully loaded impala and i must say that overall i think that it's excellent this particular one that I have has 75,000 miles on it and it still drives extremely quiet. It's still very smooth. The six speed automatic transmission with overdrives shifts very smoothly. I mean, I have no complaints with it whatsoever. And if you've been watching the channel for long enough, you know that I have a 2010 Chevy Impala LTZ and this is just such a good upgrade from that. It's a lot smoother, it's faster with its V3.6 litre V6 which has 306 horsepower and overall I just have no complaints about the way it drives. Um, the handling is a bit floaty so it's not the sportiest handling but 
Remember, this is a big family car. This is not supposed to be carving the corners as if it's a sports car. Um, but yeah, I actually love this car. And even though used car prices are kind of inflated right now, this is still a deal at 20,000 is what the dealer is selling it for. And if you compare that to a lot of the cars that are being sold today with the chip shortage, then this is still one of the best bangs for your book. If I compare this to the 2017 Audi A6 that I reviewed the week before this one, I actually prefer this car. So even though Audi is a luxury brand, this particular Impala has just as many creature comforts and safety features as what the Audi did. So I am overly impressed with what this car brings to the table. And considering how much horsepower and how much torque it has, it feels adequate. This feels faster than the all-wheel drive Audi that I drove. And this does have more horsepower, um, and it might weigh a little less than the Audi since that was an all-wheel drive, but this car was is more quiet too. The Audi on the highway actually had a lot of road noise, whereas this on the highway, um, it's still quiet. So it's a great luxury car. If you're wanting to spend minimal money and get back the most, then I would say that this is the car to pick. So I'm definitely giving it a high rating. And not only that, but this particular model with these 20 inch uh, polished aluminum wheels just looks really good. It's a very sharp car. And if you, you know, if you tinted the windows, did a few other things to it, it would look really good. And the engine actually has a decent sound to it. And the brakes on this thing are excellent. So I'm on these country back roads right now, and the car is still handling well. The one thing that I might change about this car is I wish it had different driving modes where you could actually change the steering feel. The steering for this, I would say, feels a little bit too light and it's too sensitive. But this car also does have lane keep assist. Um, it's got um, parking, not parking sensors, but it's got the uh, blind spot monitoring and overall visibility out the front and the back is excellent. So I really have no complaints about this car as far as how it drives or the creature comforts. Remember, it's a 2015, so we're almost in 2022. So technology has come a long way from then. But I still think that this car is very well equipped for a cheaply priced sedan so also also one more quick thing to mention guys this car does also have a manual mode um, on the shifter but you don't have paddle shifters or anything like that um, you just have to shift with a button on the top of the uh, gear lever which I find not to be the most efficient um, it's not terrible but you know it's not really the best, even for a 2015 car. It does shift decently with them. And I will say this, the engine does make a decent noise. Anyway guys, that's the end of the review. Leave a comment, like the video, let me know what you think of it. I'm gonna put my Lawson score up on the screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.